Example number three is a little tricky. So we are going to read this and think about it really carefully. So we're saying in this question here, it says Candy used a rope to wrap the outer edge of a beach ball exactly once. So there was a beach ball. So I'm just showing this so it doesn't look like a just a round circle. So it's um, a round ball. And what Candy did is she took a rope and she went around, so she started on one point, she went around the beach ball and then went around through the back and she wrapped it around. So that's what they're saying, that she wrapped it around this one and then she measured the, measured the distance of the uh, rope wrapped around the ball by stretching it out straight. So then she took this green rope and she said, okay, here's my rope and she stretched it out and made it into a straight line. So this rope that had gone around the ball is now placed same same thing as you would like to do to, let's say if you're measuring your belly right so you would take your measuring tape and go around it and then you would stretch it out straight to see how much that is well she found out when she measured measured it that this came out to be 108 uh, centimeters now what they want us to do is our end goal is to be able to find the volume and they've told us where to round it till. Now, the volume of the beach ball uses the formula 4 thirds pi r cubed. So really, I need to know the radius because there's only one thing that's playing a role in here, which is the radius. So how am I going to get my radius from this measurement here? So let's think about it. When you do this measurement around this, this is almost like a circle inside. And that green distance around this one is the circumference of the circle. Okay, so it's the circumference. So think about what the formula for circumference is. Circumference is actually given by the formula 2 pi r. And we know how much that is. It's 108 centimeters. So here's a formula that's going to get us to find the r through the formula of circumference. Is that one of the formulas that you should know? Yes. Okay, so then you're going to divide both sides by 2 pi. Now be careful when you put this into your calculator. When you enter this in your calculator, you want to go 108 divided by, use your division button, and you want to use your bracket 2 pi. If you enter it as 108 divided by 2 and then leave the pi, the calculator is going to calculate this for you and just multiply the pi with it. Okay, so anytime in your, um, in your denominator, if you have something more than one term in there, you put a bracket around it. And if you do this properly, we should be able to get our um, answer. So that will be um, going to be uh, 108 divided by, I'm just going to do this very quickly because the key does it a little different way. So I get this answer to be 17.1887. I'm going to leave this number in the calculator. If you don't want to, then at least leave this answer to four decimal places. Okay, so that's going to be my R. Okay, um, like I said, leave that number in your calculator as it is. And then you can actually input that in here or use your store button. So to find the volume now, you're going to go ahead, you're going to go 4 times pi times the r that you just found and cube it and then divide by 3. So my process that I'm going to use is my number is already there. So in my calculator, it's going to look like this. I am actually going to use that answer that was already in my calculator and I'm going to go ahead and say um, just to the power of 3 so it will take my answer from the previous one times it by 4 times pi and then divide by 3 so that's what I'm going to enter in my calculator okay if that doesn't make much sense to you just go your normal route and put the numbers in okay And it does come out to be 21272.6 centimeters cubed, 
And if I round this to the nearest point zero 0.01, that's what the answer comes out to be. Let me show you how this is done on the calculator. Here I'm going to do the first part where I'm going to go 108 divided by bracket 2 pi. So I made sure that I had a bracket around from here. So it gives me the answer 17.1887. And like I said, I'm going to leave this answer where it is. And I'm going to start by cubing it. So if I just go to the, don't do anything else. Just pretend that number is already there and say to the power of 3, it will automatically take your last answer times it power of 3. So I did this part already to the power of 3. And now I'm just going to go and multiply that with 4 times pi and then divide by 3 in the end for that four-third part. And there's your answer. Okay, so that's the answer that you get in there without actually losing any accuracy. If you're not comfortable with it, just go the normal route. Just go 4 times pi times the number up to four decimal places. So 17.1 eight eight seven to the power of three you can get that answer and then divide that by three so you can break it down and it doesn't go that far off so remember you're only losing 0.5 of, of uh, 0.1 of an accuracy so instead of 0.6 you'll get an answer of 0.5 not much difference so if you if you're not comfortable by keeping the actual number try to use at least four decimal places